The last step is to patch this hole in the ceiling. The original sheetrock is 5 8 inch. Home Depot does not sell 2 foot by 2 foot pieces of 5 8 inch sheetrock. So we're going to put in half inch, shim it out, and just use a thicker layer of mud. We got the half inch patch in place. Next, the taping and mudding. We're going to let this set up and then after it's dry, work on texturing it. Looking good. The next challenge is applying a texture that matches the existing ceiling. I'm going to use the same rapid set mud as was used to repair the hole in the ceiling to apply the texture. I did a test run with it. Came close, but I see that the original ceiling has a couple of layers of texture. There are at least two levels of depth in this texture, and there appear to be some brush strokes and different directions that the texture was laid down. I may not be able to match it perfectly, but there's a lot of forgiveness in such a heavy texture. Okay, these are the tools I'm gonna to use. A finishing trowel, putty knife, scraper, and this brush to get the texture that mimics what's on the ceiling, and this texturing sponge to blob and make the little points that I can then knock down later. Following the instructions, I will mix this two parts of Rapid Set to one part of clean water. I might have to add a little bit more Rapid Set to get it thicker so I can develop the texture as I go. We'll just see how this works out. Pretty good consistency. Let's see if this is thick enough to stick to the ceiling here. Yeah, almost. Again, I probably have to put two layers on there to match the ceiling texture, so I'm just going to put it on there fairly thin for the first texture layer and see how that works out. Flopping on a little bit here with the sponge. Okay, I'm going to try to mimic some of those brush marks here. Just a few places. This is again the first layer. I'm going to knock down a couple of these blobs uh, just to see if I'm beginning to get the textures that I want. And then in the next application, I'll make some more of these. See if I can get the high and low effect. I'm mixing up a second batch of rapid set mud so I can add another layer of texture. I'm making this a little bit thicker a little bit more of the powder added than just two to one. I'm gonna dab on some more rapid set mud with this putty knife. Uh, let it dry a little bit and then I'll smooth it down with the trowel with the idea of making some plateaus that look very similar to the existing texture on the ceiling. stroke here. That's looking a little bit more like the, the rough sandy like appearance. A little bit more of this texturizing. And we'll let it dry and see what it looks like. The second application of quick set mud worked pretty good to make the effect of the multiple layers of texture on the ceiling. It's not going to be a perfect match, but once it is primed and painted the same color, I'm thinking it's going to be unnoticeable. Next, the primer. I'm 
I primed the ceiling patch. Next, I'm going to apply ceiling paint that's custom colored to match, at least approximately, the existing paint. I'm going to feather and overlap it a little bit here. That'll help blend in the old with the new. The patch on this old, heavily textured ceiling turned out pretty good. I was able to match the paint almost exactly. Of course, I can see some imperfections, but most people won't even notice. I'm very pleased with the results. What do you think?